Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on your uh, soul's journey reading. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single one of you. Um, time is fluid and energies are interchangeable, okay? Meaning it's not gender specific. So uh, keep an open mind and take what resonates, okay? Feel free to swap the roles as you see fit. I'm going to pull a Spirit Animal Oracle card to see where your current energies are at. And if this doesn't resonate, feel free to check your other placements, okay? Let's see, Capricorn, Universe, Spirits, and Guides, what do we got for Capricorn? Oh, and if you're new to my channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll really help my channel out a lot, and I truly appreciate it. Let's see, what messages? What's going on for Capricorn? What's going on for my lovely Capricorn? My husband's a Capricorn. Sweetheart. Let's see. He is one of the sweetest people I've ever met. <laughs> He's probably watching this. <laughs> He's probably like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Shut your lip. <laughs> okay, that one. All right, let's see. What is it? Ooh, look at that. You got ant spirit number one. You 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 would like to be number one, I hear. <laughs> your last reading did, did the same thing. It's like I gotta be on top. I gotta be the best. You know what I mean? And this is time for collaboration. And I feel like maybe for some of you, it's time to start reaching out and in your community or reaching out to friends. And um, this is the energy of working with, with others, working with someone on something. You know what I mean? And this is a puzzle that you gotta solve. I feel like for, for a good portion of you, this could be talking about collaborating with spirit, right? Co-creating with spirit, working with spirit to, to solve this riddle, to solve this puzzle, or I don't know, it's, it's, it's just this energy of trying to figure something out. You can't quite figure it out. The number one symbolizes what? Birth? Right? So I feel like maybe there's a birth of a, of a new you here. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to pull another um, animal spirit card here. Let's see what else is going on, spirit. What's going on with Capricorn? Ooh. Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusions. This is knowing the truth, living your truth. And it's like your mind is evolving. You're... elevating, um, ascending, you know, when you think of a dragonfly, it, it's like, you know, like that. And I feel like that's your thoughts. I feel like your thoughts are constantly going like that. Right. And, um, same thing. And it, it, it's interesting that you got, um, both insects here. It, it feels, I don't want to say parasitic, but that's just the word that that I can think of, but it feels like obsessive, obsessive thinking, right? And I, I think I said this on your, on your last reading, but I feel like it's that obsessive thinking of having to figure it out, having to, to know, but I feel a sense of, um, 
ascending happening in terms of that it feels like your mind is it's like you're you're gaining control over it does that make sense it's a it's a pretty powerful energy not gonna lie let's see i'm gonna pull some energy oracle cards see what else is going on What else do we have for uh, my beautiful Capricorn? What else is happening for Capricorn spirit? What's going on with Capricorn? What else can you tell us? Oh shoot, you know what? Hang on. I forgot my, let me light these candles real quick. I forgot to do it. And I feel like my husband's gonna kill me if he sees this video and my candles ain't lit. He's, he's gonna be like, why didn't you light your candles? You lighted your candles for all these other videos, but you didn't light it for Capricorn? Mm -hmm. That's what he's gonna say. <laughs> oh, let's see. Sorry about this, guys. Hang on. There we go. Now we cooking with fire. <sighs> All right, let's see, spirit. What do we got for Capricorn? Capricorn is evolving, I feel. From an ant to a dragonfly. Let's see. You gonna talk to us today, spirit, or what? Are you burnt out? I'm not burnt out, I'm still good to go. Thank you. <laughs> Look, <clears throat> blossoming abundance. There is, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just this feeling of being more aware of the abundance around you. Is this feeling of being able to look around you and feeling good about, you know, where you're at. And you see how there's all these woodland creatures around? It, there's a coexisting happening here. Mm, you're, being, you're learning how to be one with nature. Let's see. Yeah, and <clears throat> you see how the water in that picture is calm and tranquil? I feel like that's where your energy is at. Your energy is very like, yeah. You know what I mean, Capricorn? Come on, spirit. I don't think Capricorn got all day this time. I don't know. No. Okay, they do. Magician and the mirror. There's balance happening. There's temperament happening. It's like you're balancing your hot and cold side. Yeah, it, it almost feels like you took one hard look in the mirror and realized, you know what? I gotta look out for me. I gotta raise my vibration. That's what I feel. I gotta manifest my reality. Mm-hmm. Hmm, let's see, Capricorn. One more card, please, Spirit. This is, um, this is, it, it feels like a 180 from last, last reading that I did for Capricorn. It feels like, almost like a, like a switch. You know what I mean? Like a, somebody flipped the switch, like you flipped the switch. The thinking man? What are you thinking about? 
You could be dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but the thinking man is somebody that is really trying to figure out. And it, it, it almost seems like you're trying to figure out life's greatest mysteries. I don't know why that popped in my head. You're trying to figure out life's greatest mysteries. You see how he's staring into that crystal? Hmm. Let's get some enchanted map cards here. What else is going on for Capricorn spirit? Let's see what else is going on for Capricorn. <laughs> I just love saying Capricorn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dry desert. This card talks about making the journey, you know, adapting, mostly. When you think about uh, the creatures that live in the desert, they were able to adapt to the extreme conditions, right? And that's what this card talks about. It talks about you adapting to your surroundings, you adapting to what is going on around you. Making the journey towards uh, inner healing. That's giving me hermit energy right there. Let's see, what else, spirit? Yeah, look. Storm fields. This is like you clearing out all the clutter, clearing out all the toxic energy. Um, making room for a new you. New year, new you. That's what I just heard. You getting ready for 2021, huh? Capricorn? I apologize if you hear all that stomping going on. I got a lot of animals running around in my house including one that's 11 years old. <laughs> Look at that. Compass. I'm going to read this one because I never got this card before. But I feel like this talks about your moral compass, your inner compass, uh, following your true north. You know what I mean? Let's see. There's a message here. There is a message here. Hang on. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> compass. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You see that? Yeah, it's like understanding your higher purpose. This is beautiful energy, Capricorn. You're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along the journey. You see that? Don't let the material realm uh, define you, Capricorn. Don't let the 3D define you. Know that spirit is working in your life. So even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. Mm, you see that Capricorn? You are following your your true north. I feel like you've tapped into something here. And you are beginning to see what it is that you're that you're truly meant for. Wow. That's gorgeous. Alright, let's jump into the tarot because I want to see what else is going on here. 
We're gonna use the Muse Tarot deck here. Bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Emotions. And I feel like this is looking back in the past and uh, with regret or remorse. Um, this is uh, this is that energy of like letting the past kind of get you down. But for for some of you, I feel like this could be talking about reminiscing about your childhood, right? Um, to, uh, trying to tap into that inner child, you know, but. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like your past is probably what's keeping you from truly ascending. You know what I mean? You're letting past experiences um, create blockages and walls. That's what I feel. And you're not able you won't be able to truly ascend until you've dealt with them, until you've um, released these kinds of burdens, right? Let's see, Spirit. What can you tell us for Capricorn's highest good? What can you tell us for Capricorn's highest good? Ace of material in reverse? An opportunity? that has yet to arrive or an opportunity that hasn't presented itself? I don't know. Let me pull some more cards here. Let's see. Queen of Swords. This is a very serious energy with the Queen of Swords. She's she's straight to the point. She knows what she wants. She knows how to how to get what she wants, and n nothing can get in her way. Basically, she's a bad bitch, the Queen of Swords, and nobody nobody can mess with the Queen of Swords. I feel this energy of like tired of waiting around for a certain opportunity to to present itself. And then look, the Ace of Inspiration, the Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning of a passionate, creative, inspiring nature. <clears throat> Maybe that's why the Ace of Materials came up in reverse is I maybe you've decided in terms of like um, opportunities, the Ace of Materials is would be the 3D opportunity. And I feel like maybe you've either consciously or, uh, or subconsciously made the decision that you're not going to let this whatever this is, you're not going to let it um, affect you the way that it has. But I see a new beginning over here. This is passion. This is fire. This is, um, for some of you, it could be very uh, sexual, you know, hot. Look, I find it interesting that she's wearing cactuses. She's wearing, you know, succulents. Remember the dry desert? You're adapting. You are <clears throat> expanding. Like, we're in Sag season right now. And Sag season is talks about expansion, growth, um, it be, trying new things, being adventurous. And then you got the moon in reverse. What's this all about? You could be dealing with the Pisces. Hidden emotions. Someone's not 
someone's not showing their feelings here could be you you could you probably aren't showing your feelings the knight of cups there is an offer on the table or for some of you a love offer you could be dealing with a water sign for sure Yeah, even though the Queen of Swords is an air sign, which you could be dealing with the air sign, but I feel like um, your energy is coming through with the Queen of Swords there. Three of Voices in reverse. Yeah, you've been hurt before. So it, it almost feels like you are opening yourself up to love. It's like that feeling of <clears throat> surrender, but how, how do I word this? It's like learning how to express love, learning how to um, embrace who you are and act out of love. You know what I mean? For some of you, there could definitely be a romantic connection here. But <clears throat> mostly I feel like in terms of your life and your where you're at on your journey, it feels like you're beginning to open up. Nine of Inspiration, Cancer Energy. Somebody got their walls up, but okay. So somebody might have their walls up, but I also feel like maybe you've learned how to set healthy boundaries with people, right? And this is also the card that, that says, um, you are closer to the end than you realize, you know, the end is near, take it as it resonates. But you see how those two statues in the back, they have those horns sticking out, those unicorn horns sticking out of their heads. It feels like there is, it's like your third eye is opening. You, there's enlightenment happening here. Hmm, seeing the world for what it is. Look, her third eye is, is cracked wide open. What else, spirit? Wow. Oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Inspiration? Divine timing. <clears throat> So it's like, I feel like you're, the wheel is going to turn in your favor. So some of you could be coming into some good luck, right? Luck is on your side here. And with the six of inspiration, there's success there. There's recognition, there's fame. That's beautiful. Something about cycles, something about the moon and cycles, like um, maybe understanding your feelings more, understanding that, you know, after a dark period, there's always going to be a light period. After the dark comes the light, you know what I mean? But I see you coming out of it successful, you know? Wow. Bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Voices in reverse.
I'm hearing in action. Maybe you've, t you've taken some time to reflect. Maybe things were confusing and you took some time to really, I don't know, gather your thoughts. But it feels like you've definitely evolved here, Capricorn. That's beautiful. Spiritually, yes, you definitely evolved. Why is it? There, on the bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Cups in reverse, which is interesting because you had a right upright over here. It feels like you're waiting for some kind of uh, offer, some kind of gesture, some, you know, and it's going to resonate differently for everybody, but you're waiting on something to come in. Let's see, spirit. We're going to pull a most likely outcome for you. And we're going to see what's coming up next, okay? You are still some guys. What's coming up next for Capricorn? What's coming up next for Capricorn Spirit? What can you tell us? What are we allowed to know? The Justice card in reverse. I feel like there's going to be an ending to a karmic cycle or a karmic situation here. For some of you, this could be talking about a relationship or a marriage. Or this could be something that had already happened. You know, remember, time is fluid, right? <clears throat> what else? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here. Very interesting because you got it here upright too. There is an ending to a to a cycle here, I feel. You are ending a cycle. You are closing out chapters. Mm-hmm. It's a, it feels like a rebirth. It feels like a rebirth taking place within yourself, Capricorn. Wow. Page of Wands, following the signs. You know, for some of you, this could be a message coming in. Um, taking the, uh, taking in, the initial steps toward inspired action. I don't know. But that could also be talking about good news coming in, right? Yeah, the hermit came up. But I'm not going to take that. Because I feel like that's a past energy. Like, I feel like you've already done your inner healing here. Or you've been doing some inner, some deep reflection. Let's see, what else, Spirit? What else can you tell us? What's coming up next for Capricorn? Let's see. What are we at? 20 some minutes. What's coming up next for Capricorn, Spirit? Strength. You're going to find the strength of the courage to move forward. What? Now, why did the Six of Swords come up in reverse, Capricorn? 
there's something here that 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 needs to be healed there's a, i feel like i there's i feel like there's a lot of progression happening but i feel like there's still like more work that needs to be done i feel like there's still some closure that needs to happen or something let's see what else spirit what else can you tell us what's coming up next for capricorn one more card please one more card said that look the ace of cups this is a new beginning of an emotional nature a new beginning in love a new beginning um you know with in terms of like yourself yourself your inner emotions i don't know that's beautiful but it feels like there's some closure that needs to happen <clears throat> so four of cups on the bottom of the deck someone's not taking an offer someone's not getting the message or something like that could be you could be another person but it feels like someone's not hearing what spirit is trying to tell them can you clarify this ace of cups for capricorn please can we clarify this Ace of Cups for Capricorn? Can we clarify this Ace of Cups, please, for Capricorn? It's almost your birthday, Capricorn. I just realized that. I hope you're excited. Let's see. No, you don't want me to tell him, Spirit? You don't want to tell them what this new beginning of an emotional nature is. Okay. I can tell you this. You are manifesting your reality with the magician here. Look, it's number one again. It's like spirit is saying, no, let Capricorn do their, do their uh, light work or shadow work. Let Capricorn do their thing. We can't tell them too much. Because if they know too much, they're going to get in their own way. Let them... It's almost like Spirit is saying, let this unfold naturally. Hmm. All right. Sorry I couldn't get that, Capricorn. Let's see. I'm going to pull a Shaman Oracle card to see um, what advice Spirit has for you. Okay, moving forward. I mean, I think that was the advice. <laughs> Let's see, Spirit. What advice do we have for Capricorn? What advice do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. Wow. Holy shiitake mushroom. The moon. This talks about cycles. Um, ending. It's exactly what I, what I was saying earlier about how, like, after the dark comes the light. You're, let's see, I'm going to read it because universe knows what to say. Here, hang on. <clears throat> let's see here. The moon spends equal time in the dark as it does in the light of the sun. And now it comes to remind you of the, this balance. Have you been too focused on outer achievements, productivity, or social engagements? Or have you spent too much time hidden from the outer world, not wanting to interact or show your face? Meditate on the significance of the moon cycle and let it gently guide you out of your bottomless depths. Head back to the world of outer expression and connection with others. Let it help you make time for yourself, your feelings, and your essential human and spiritual needs. This card calls you to go on a journey of renewal. See, I kept saying rebirth. 
just like the moon does every month so you can get unstuck whether from a specific situation or life in general for this you need to make time to be with yourself without the distraction of modern society and have the courage to look at the, the unwanted or unembraced parts of your being until you arrive at a place of resolution. Shamanic lore explains that the finest treasures of humanity are hidden where people are most afraid to go. Mm -hmm. So, it feels to me like things are progressing for you, but I, there is a cycle here I feel that needs to close and you're starting to, I, with this Ace of Materials in reverse, I feel like you are starting to realize that. You're starting to understand that it's not all about the 3D realm, you know what I mean? Because it, it's like you are trying to um, align yourself with your higher self. <clears throat> And you're not letting the 3D realm hold you back. But there is still some kind of closure that needs to happen. And I think that you got some reflecting to do. You still have a lot of reflecting to do with this moon. The moon talks about feelings and emotions. I think it has to do with some past trauma or something like that. You know what I mean, Capricorn? It's like you're going to have to take, take a, a look within. Maybe that's why the hermit popped up. Because the spirit is trying to say... You're going to have to really, really dig deep for this one. All right, Capricorn. Uh, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this reading resonated for you. If it did, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you would like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And until next time, Capricorn, I will see you later. Bye.